Hello, thank you so much for coming back to watch this week's recipe. So today for you, I have this really easy from scratch banana bread, even like squished up bananas and everything. So if you'd like to see what you need and how to make it, then please keep on watching. Just so you know, I do upload a daily video here on this channel all about budget food. So it can be a recipe like today, it can be a little shopping haul, it can be a snack. It really does depend on the day of the week. So make sure you do subscribe, hit that notification bell, bookmark the page. That way you can come on back and watch whenever you would like to. But let's go ahead and get started with this really easy and delicious banana bread. Okay, so what you're going to need is three to four um, bananas that are all smashed up. You're going to need a third of a cup of melted butter, which I already have melted here. Three quarters, three quarters cup of sugar. One egg. You're going to need a teaspoon of baking soda, a teaspoon of baking powder, you're going to need a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, an eighth of a teaspoon of salt, um, and a one and a half cups of flour, and I don't know if I said it, but you're also going to need a teaspoon of vanilla. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so this is a really, really easy recipe and you only need one bowl. But first of all, what I'm going to be doing is I need to oil my baking dish. I don't have a um, bread pan. You can also use, um, obviously, just a regular baking dish. You can put these in muffin cups, whatever you want to do. But whatever you're using, you want to do some oil. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Just going to oil all of it. And then you're also going to just sprinkle a tiny bit of flour um, over the oil as well, just to make sure everything comes out smoothly and nothing sticks. So, okay. but like I said, my oven is preheating right now at 350, so okay. Don't need a ton. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that aside. We're gonna bring back our bowl. Okay, so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be smushing up my bananas. So, ugly, ugly bananas. They're almost at the point of not being okay for banana bread, but they're still good. So three to four bananas. So yeah, I bought these and they're sitting there, sitting there, sitting there, and I'm like, oh my goodness, I need to make banana bread. Um, I, I think we're all kind of at that point where we don't wanna waste food. And bananas is just one of those things in my house, like, number one, I buy them on sale, so they're already ripe. And then, um, then I just, sometimes I forget about them, but, you know, these, this degree of ripeness is totally okay for banana bread. So, and we're going to do four, because you can do three or four. So this one's a little, mm, so I'm going to use this one. Yeah, it should be okay. But you can just use a fork or a spoon, whatever you'd like to smush these up. Okay, but see, they look fine on the inside. Okay, so let's go ahead and get these all mushed up. Okay, so next I'm gonna go ahead and add my melted butter. And I'm just gonna go ahead and stir to combine. Oh my gosh, I have not made banana bread in forever. Sean doesn't like bananas or banana bread, so but it should be okay still. I will I will eat these for breakfast. So Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and do my three quarters cup of sugar. One. quarters cup of sugar and now I'm going to add my egg and my vanilla which is a whole teaspoon and 
and we're just going to go ahead and start to combine. Okay, so here is our wet ingredients basically, so now we're going to start adding some dry ingredients. Please don't fall in there. Okay, we're just going to have to deal with it if it does. Okay, we're good. Okay, so now we're going to be doing a teaspoon each of baking soda and baking powder. So, let me do that. So our baking powder and baking soda is what's going to help our bread to rise. Okay, and now we're going to go ahead and add our cinnamon, which our cinnamon is only a quarter of a teaspoon. You can definitely add more if you want. Oh my gosh, I'm almost out of cinnamon. Like really, really close to being out. I can't even remember the last time I ran out of cinnamon. Like, that's crazy. Okay, and now we're gonna go ahead and do an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. So I'm just gonna do this little quarter te um, teaspoon one, but it's, I'm not gonna fill it all the way up. Okay, there we go. Now we're just going to go ahead and combine this as well. I don't have any nuts or anything to add to it, but you can add walnuts or pecans, chocolate chips, whatever you'd like. I just, I don't have any in the pantry or anything, so. And really this recipe just, just because I needed to use up those dang bananas. Okay. So there we go. So now we're gonna go ahead and do our one and a half tables. I'm sorry, we're gonna do our one and a half cups. There we go. We're gonna do our one and a half cups of flour. So. And we're going to stir this just until there's no streaks of flour. You don't want to over stir. Okay, I think, I think we're there. Okay, I'm not seeing any flour. We're good. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this put into my little baking dish, and we're going to bake it for 50 to 60 minutes, so quite a while. Okay, so there we go. I'm just gonna go ahead and get this spread out a little bit. And I'm gonna just go ahead and get this popped in the oven. It already smells delicious. Okay, so I just went ahead and took out the banana bread. I'm gonna let it cool for a little while, but we got a little bit of cracking, which is good, and uh, it smells really, really good. So yeah, I'm gonna let this cool for about 10 minutes. 
Okay, I am ready to slice this baby up. Seems really, really moist. So you can definitely do big or small slices. Since it's just going to be me eating it, I'm okay with doing smaller. Yeah, it's coming right out. Let's go ahead and try this. I'm excited. Oh my gosh, it smells so, so good. Look at that. Looks really moist. We're doing it. We're doing it right now. It'd be way better with some walnuts or some pecans or something, but with just this just being a very basic recipe, you can definitely zhuzh it up. You can add whatever you want to it. This would also be a great basic recipe for apples. Just separate or just substitute the bananas for apples or something or pears. Heck yes, this is so so good. Mm, 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 mm. Um, but yeah, super easy, super quick. You just need one bowl so there we go but anyway hope you enjoyed this week's um recipe if you did please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and share it leave a comment down below do you like banana bread or are you like sean and you're kind of a grump when it comes to banana bread let me know down below in the comments and don't forget you're always welcome to follow me on my other social media twitter facebook instagram it's all about your glam babe don't go anywhere quite yet another video should start on a plane here very shortly or you can always click on one of the ones that will be popping up around the screen but yeah I'll see you here in just a sec.